Munchkin just get another job? Uh, I think Punchkin just got another job, and maybe Explode got another job too. I don't, I don't know. Um, it's possible that I don't know. Maybe even Biscuit Splitter got another job. I don't know. Maybe they should come over and check out this individual and see how things are going. Maybe this person needs help. Maybe we need to first aid this stuff. Did I send anybody over with first aid or just people with swords? <laughs> They're like coming for help, man. Uh, Punchkin should actually... No, she doesn't. Voltar's the only person who does, it looks like. Biscuit Splitter's got some. All right. Hey, maybe if... if uh, oh, no. We gave you the option, dude. It looked like you were coming from refuge. I am all about hooking you up with some refuge. But um, but if we're going to play the attack game, well, I, I guess we know how that's going to go. And I think for a Sand Ninja, we'll take our, our gear off. There's all this garbage that they looted off of. Oh, is this person fleeing? Well, dudes, then frickin' calm down, then. Can we first aid? I don't know what's going on with you, dude. I want to be your friend. I respect you. And apparently my complete lack of ability to hit you. There we go. <laughs> what's, what's going on in there? Oh, no weapon. Oh, that's why you were fleeing. Oh. Uh, we do have a uh, place to put people like this. Um, and that's going to be in here. So why don't we have? Why don't you have you, bro? I, you had the you had the goods on you. Let's take care of business here. And that might be something I also want to look into doing. Is I originally wanted to do the hemp to uh, get the first aid first aid stuff happening. Oh, uh, Biscuit Splitter's full, huh? Probably should put put his backpack on then. That might help him out a little bit. Maybe playing catching him up. Uh, it's good to see that. It's good to see the fast guy having a hard time. Is he wearing a helmet? He's wearing a helmet, isn't he? That's why he's. Oh, he's lugging lugging crap around too. Oh wow, this is gonna happen. He's gonna have to. Uh, oh well. I can't do everything all at once. I should be picking up loot while I'm selling loot. Oh, this is so complicated. All right, this guy, this guy's in the back. All right, Johnny, you're in the basement mixing up the medicine while he's on the pavement thinking about the government. All right. All right, we're accomplishing goals. Great things are being being done today by our two dust bandits while everybody else is on autopilot. Well, we're leaving this carnage and heading up to Trader's Edge because they got a cop station I can turn this guy in at. Probably should have... It's one of the problems of having two guys with the same name. It's hard to keep track of them. Which one's which? So I'm going to take this, this boss and the rest of our loot because we ran out of places to sell stuff uh, up to Trader's Edge. And we're going to do a little business there. Maybe even grab a splint kit for our little medic buddy here. He seems to be doing a little I need a splint kit dance. There it is right there. Ah, I missed it by the missed it by the thing. He's about to do the little I need a splint kit dance. There it is, there it is, there it is. Okay. So hopefully these guys are moving at a at a slow pace. Hopefully they, um, his legs jacked up. He'll be easy to catch again. Hopefully they can make it the trader's edge without getting jumped on the way. So um, let's put these guys on pause for a second. Look into, let's see, our, our main group here, our main going and attacking group, which will possess 
them as members when they get back. They're currently right now just working the farm, bringing in that that good Mendocino. <laughs> no, actually, I don't. You know what? I can't think of. I don't know of any good uh, hemp references. I guess all George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. We're making teeth for George Washington. That's what we're doing. What are you doing? Filling up a thing? Yep, they're filling it up. I think when when they fill up their... So yeah, it's got 17 inside the farm. So they're kind of just... It gets full and they empty it themselves. It's so probably... It's kind of... It feels inefficient, but it's probably the best solution. While they're... At least while they're only working the farms that are close to here. Might start getting a little fuzzy once we get out to there. How's Taters doing? Is he still bringing in one at a time? No, he's doing two. Good job. It's, I don't know if it's really keeping down the amount of stuff out here. Oh, the, the back three are, are full. So I guess technically I could always just manually do this. This is another option that we have since he's got the he's got the friggin' backpack for it. We can just go in here and manually uh, fill this out. Let's move that up. And, oops, it's not, got to hold down shift to get the full stack. A little bit of the inventory management in this game is a little bit wonky, but it does a pretty good job, I think, overall. Um, the AI I would rather have be better. Look at how much stuff is in here. There's 752, 58, 64, 70, freaking 800, 810. Oh, I did the math wrong there. 812. So I I put up two because I didn't know how much one is going to fit, but it sure looks like it's fitting a lot. We can even actually keep doing keep doing this. Just just to be thorough. Uh, there we go. 816 in that one tank. Uh, yeah, I really overdid it. I could probably kill these three back here. Although, who knows? I might end up making this making this one huge hemp farm area. I might even pull in the wheat once food gets a purpose other than trade goods value. Um, let's see. What's Punchkin up to? What's Crunch up to? Crunch is supposed to be doing all the engineer stuff. We have building supplies. A little bit of building supplies built up in here. A whole bunch of those. Sure seems like we're not emptying that out very quickly, are we? Maybe I could even... Oh, that's... See, it's never a good idea. He's also, I think, waiting for corpses. What What is he doing? He's being an engineer. He's not being a very effective one. Unless everything's built. And I just didn't realize it. No, it sure doesn't look built. Whole lot of building left to do here, Crunch. Come on, get on the get on the ball, man. Where you at, brother? All right, slowly taking care of it. Uh, I don't know what he's sticking his face in. Is he working on this upstairs business? No, there's no upstairs business. He's working on the generators, I bet. Yeah. Okay. That's gonna help out. Um, that brings us up to only 43. Once he finishes that one, it'll be what? These are 10 each or five each? Uh, let's see, five looks like a quarter, so 20. Okay, that'll bring us up to 400. We'll only be 23 short. Yeah, this should be enough to get us good with what we got. Um, Volata, what are you doing? Are you bugging out? Yeah, you've got a full inventory. Why aren't you doing stuff? It's almost like there aren't any stone processors that are empty. No, she's just looking for room to fill that up with that. To go put that away, I guess. It's probably for the best, because that opens up this thing now to being useful. Jeez, Valada. Yeah. It's hard to it's hard to get people having multiple jobs at once. How are we doing here? I see dogs. There's a group of dogs right there. They're doing something with somebody. How close are we? We are barely leaving town. We are barely leaving Isaac. I didn't even see if that was a construction. It probably was that generator getting finished. Trader's Edge. Got to make it up. Let's see. How do we do this? Trader's Edge is... 
Uh, which is the way up? Oh, am I passing it? Hold on a sec. Trader's Edge has a weird way up. Maybe that, that must be it right there. That's the weird way up. So let me see who's following who. You are the one being followed. So let's send you up there. I'm not hearing a click. Are you working? Okay, I'm hearing it. There we go. Let's see what's this what's this happening with the dogs? What do we have? Oh we have oh disbanded problems. Uh, that's gonna complicate my life. What do we have over here? Dust bandit problems. So many dust bandits. That that's that's definitely gonna complicate my life. Okay. I might actually need to use this little spot up here then. Just to get around them. We'll see. I don't know. I don't really know what aggro range is. It's not like some games. Some games you know exactly the the number to see and the distance away and you go right for it. I don't know that yet on this game. So, all right. I'm going to keep plugging away at this. Try to get dudes to town. I'll catch up with you guys if something pops up. Well, I tried to uh, sneak across the desert. <laughs> make it to a town. And uh, it's not really working out. Ended up getting chased by those dust bandits. They looped all the way around and found me. That was not to be. So um ran as best I could to this uh, caravan. And I was trying to drop them on the caravan. But I didn't get any kind of joy out of that. Oh, then now we got dogs in the background there. Who is this? Is this the dude? I don't know. It's a regular dust bandit. I don't know where the uh, the bounty dust bandit boss went off to. Unless he's part of this pile. I don't think he is. I think he just kind of took off. Uh, unless he's... No, these are plants. So, got, got one dude's got no legs. And this dude's unconscious for another couple minutes. Oh, man. Seriously? Don't tell me this dude's coming after me. Oh, it's a caravan guard. Okay. Okay, so I could probably try picking him up. <laughs> and then try following these dudes. See how that works. Alright, so having a little morning exercises here. Out in the, out in the fields. I don't know if it's just simpler to have just straight up bleeding types of weapons on, on a on a home crew here, just so we don't have to worry as much about people getting back up. It's kind of morbid and creepy and all that, but... What's all this? Hungry Bandit. But it would help, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's like, once they're down, they don't you don't have to keep putting them back down. How's everybody in the group doing? Oh, you know, they're taking a little damage, but this is about their speed. I like that. They're learning some ooh, valuable lessons about taking damage and getting clumped up in the middle of three different angles of attack. There we go. There's a little spreading out in green. I like my sea of green. Okay, back to work, everybody. Unfortunately, we lost track of Dust Bandit Boss, so we can't get the bounty on Dust Bandit Boss. Dust Bandit Boss is capable of walking, but is severely crippled in uh, one of the legs or the other. And so Dust Bandit Boss is carrying Dust Bandit Boss. We are on our way to Trader's Edge. Uh, one last little hiccup. One last little hiccup. One dude jumping us like right outside of town. Seriously, just one un unconscious? How did you just become unconscious? Maybe you're just having a hard time. I just set you down, so maybe you're having a hard time getting up. Oh, you need to get up, dude. You need to <sighs> take this dude out. This is not working. Um, we need to involve local law enforcement. I probably should have just kept going to town. I don't know. Um, but I think... Dust Bandit. Luckily, he's only got Dust Bandit. Uh, he's got Hungry Bandit gear on. What's this? Are these Dust Bandits now? 
That's a hungry bandit leader. All right, they just went pieced out on this guy. Wait a minute. Can I... Oh, can I... Let's see if we can make it in. Even with our broken leg. Oh. I don't like that red flash. And let's see. There's a good place to go. I'm going to eventually want to go to anyway. Through probably the armor. Or the... the clothing place. It's a little bit cramped in here, huh? Fancy hats. Ladies like the fancy hats. Got the slavery spot. Got the beer happenings. The weapon place. Uh, another beer happenings. And an armor place. Let's go to the armor place, I guess. Let's see what's going on back here. How are we doing? Luckily, this guy's got terrible aim. How's oh, the boss now aggroing? Oh, we got the cops in on it. There we go. Oh, see, what is that weirdness? What is that weird teleporting business? Hmm. Oh. Oh my, with the camera action. So can we close this door? They'll never suspect us now. Uh, hold on. Hold on, dude. Uh, uh, Alright, this is weird. It freaked me out. Okay, let's just go in there. Oh, oh, what, what are you doing? Can't be out of business already. Um, so all I'm seeing is samurai stuff. This much must be United United folks. Okay. You know, I had Punchkin uh sitting there at the weapons crafting station waiting for me to research. Uh so that she could start making the max level weapons instead of the second to max level weapons. Then it occurred to me that I could just have her come to town and get on this other research bench real quick, and that might kind of speed up the time, and it sure did. It went from like 130-something uh, hours to 56. So that's going to go pretty quick. And uh, I think our group back here is still pumping away at stuff. Here's our weapons crafting station. have a couple of places for the finished weapons to go when they're done in that room. Um, I was going to put the weapons crafting in this room, in this building, but uh, we might be able to, you know, use that space for something else. Because I kind of like how this is close to the steel and the fabric, which the local fabric's over there. Kind of thinking that what I might do is end up filling up some of this space. I, you'll notice I'm, I'm big on uh, planting down buildings, not really putting together a whole walled environment here. I'm doing a little bit of... I don't know, trying to think ahead. I'm terrible at that, so I try to do more of it than I would naturally. <laughs> and uh, trying to space out things so that I don't put walls up and then go, ah, I wish I had more room there. Even though you can tear stuff down and build it up. We have essentially unlimited supplies. Uh, but I'm thinking about putting over maybe uh, a farm or two over on this side to provide fabrics just for the side. And maybe even looking at doing some stone over here for this for this project. There, am I seeing dudes down the hall? Hope not. I'm not. I'm, a, I'm, I'm eager to have stuff so solve itself and not cause more complications. can't do everything all at once. Oh, I should be picking up loot while I'm selling loot. Oh, this is so complicated. Alright, this guy, this guy's in the back. 
All right, Johnny, you're in the basement mixing up the medicine while he's on the pavement thinking about the government. All right. All right, we're accomplishing goals. Great things are being being done today by our two dust bandits while everybody else is on autopilot. So, we're leaving this carnage and heading up to Trader's Edge because they got a cop station I can turn this guy in at. Probably should have one of the problems of having two guys with the same name. It's hard to keep track of them. Which one's which? So I'm going to take this, this boss and the rest of our loot because we ran out of places to sell stuff uh, up to Trader's Edge. And we're going to do a little business there. Maybe even grab a splint kit for our little medic buddy here. I don't know what's going on with you, dude. I want to be your friend. I respect you. And apparently my complete lack of ability to hit you. There we go. <laughs> What's, what's going on in there? Oh, no weapon. Oh, that's why you were fleeing. Oh. Uh, we do have a place to put people like this. Um, and that's going to be in here. So why don't we have... Why don't you have you, bro? I, you, had the, you had the goods on you. Let's take care of business here. And that might be something I also want to look into doing is I originally wanted to do the hemp to uh, get the first aid first aid stuff happening. Oh, biscuit splitter's full, huh? Probably should put, put his backpack on then. That might help him out a little bit. He was playing catching him up. Uh, it's good to see that. It's good to see the fast guy having a hard time. Is he wearing a helmet? He's wearing a helmet, isn't he? That's why he's... Oh, he's lugging, lugging crap around, too. Oh, wow. This is gonna happen. He's gonna have to... Punchkin just get another job? Uh, I think Punchkin just got another job and maybe Explode got another job too. I don't I don't know. Um it's possible that I don't know, maybe even Biscuit Splitter got another job. He seems to be doing a little I need a splint kit dance. There it is right there. Ah, I missed it by the missed it by the thing. He's about to do the little I need a splint kit dance. There it is, there it is, there it is. Okay. So hopefully these guys are moving at a at a slow pace. Hopefully they um his legs jacked up. He'll he'll be easy to catch again. Hopefully they can make it the trader's edge without getting jumped on the way. So, um, let's put these guys on pause for a sec and look into, let's see, our our main group here. Our main going and attacking group, which will possess them as members when they get back. They're currently right now just working the farm. Bringing in that, that good Mendocino. <laughs> no, actually, I don't, you know what, I can't think of, I don't know of any good uh, hemp references, I guess. All George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. We're making teeth for George Washington. That's what we're doing. What are you doing? I don't know. Maybe they should come over and check out this individual and see how things are going. Maybe this person needs help. Maybe we need to first aid this stuff. 
Did I send anybody over with first aid or just people with swords? <laughs> They're like coming for help, man. Uh, Punchkin should actually... No, she doesn't. Voltar's the only person who does, it looks like. Biscuit Splitter's got some. All right. Hey, maybe if... if uh, oh, no. We gave you the option, dude. It looked like you were coming from refuge. I am all about hooking you up with some refuge. But um, but if we're going to play the attack game, well, I, I guess we know how that's going to go. And I think for a Sand Ninja, we'll take our, our gear off. Using all this garbage that they looted off of. Oh, is this person fleeing? Well, dudes, then frickin' calm down then. Can we first aid? 